Hey guys, Megan Lynn here, Spiritual Empress. It's that time of the week again. Happy Sunday. I'm going to do another Aquarius video because a lot of things have been shifting and they kind of only do this when Aquarius really opens up their energy because I think that a lot of people really underestimate when an Aquarius goes into hermit mode. We do this a lot of times to reassess things or get right mentally or restart things Aquarius has a really good ability to hermit and we're very like stubborn about it too like if we make a decision about something that we're gonna stop dating that we're gonna um you know that we want to just focus on our finances or something like that people really try to change our mind and it doesn't happen until something kind of like shifts in the Aquarius where we can actually like go back into our vibration. And I just want to let you guys know that hermiting is not our vibration. Okay. It just isn't. Things don't come to Aquarius when they hermit. They just don't like, and that's because we are the house of friendship. So we get everything through socializing, through networking, not in keeping our freaking heads down. Um, I can say I recently so I don't know how much like stuff, I don't really talk about personal stuff, but I decided like after my last relationship, I wasn't even entertaining dating. Like, and I still hold true to that. Like I have not dated at all since my last relationship. And I decided like I wasn't going to for a specific period of time. And so literally I didn't, right? And this is not just dating you guys. Like I've opened my energy back up to everything and now everything's coming back to me. So and it's all coming really quickly. Like in a matter of the last couple weeks, everything's just like pulling together energetically. And that's because I'm living in our, our true nature, which is to be social, uh, to get words out. Like, and a lot of people don't understand that our power comes in intellectually. So um, it comes with a lot of networking and things like that. But once we freaking do open up our energy, you guys, and I hope you're coming out of hermit mode, I feel like for my Aquarius friends, this is definitely true because it's happening to a lot of them as they've kind of been keeping their head down and Aquarius is not supposed to do that, okay? We are the most grounded of the air signs, but we are not meant to isolate at all. So... Dude, once you freaking do, though, I really encourage Aquarius, if you've been hermiting or if you've been kind of staying out of the limelight, put yourself back out there and things will start happening because that's our magic. Our magic is in being out there. So <laughs> I could say, though, you guys, like if you start to do this, whether I decided I wasn't going to date and I until I met this guy, I talked to him at work and I just kind of like zinged with him. That was the energy that changed my mind about all of it. And I'm like, holy shit, I need to be like putting myself out there. And since I have you guys, it's been Pandora's freaking box, okay? Like, you will become the flavor of the month. And this is somebody told this to me. He's just like, you are the freaking flavor of the month. And that's only because we have to open our energy up to it. Um, so you guys will notice things will start coming too. But it's been really, really bad, you guys, because I had this experience in my early 20s when I was just out dating, like I was out openly dating and literally everybody and their mom was offering me. They were offering to, to go out. They wanted to be in a relationship. They, this, that, or the other, but it's so bad you guys, because God, like two weekend, two weeks ago, I've been talking to Leo off and on just kind of like casually, whatever. And I'm very serious about like what I'm looking for and what I want and taking things slow because I'm at the point right now where if I did meet somebody, I want it to evolve into something like I'm not just out there to like have fun. To me, it's kind of like a waste of time. Like I'm at the point where I've been alone for so long that I just want a partner, somebody I can you know, we can lean on each other, depend on each other, you know, whatever. So I've been hanging out with Leo. He took me out to a nice lunch. That was nice. And then the next night we ended up hanging out. And then the next day I was with Aries. So we were hanging out. This is in the same weekend. And then I kept getting these offers to like hang out with like my girlfriends and stuff. So I'm taking you guys, when you get offered, as long as it's positive, take the offer because it leads to something. So we ended up going out for coffee. I've just been doing so much stuff. Then the next weekend 
Leo girlfriend invited me out, and we were hanging out with, like, Leo, Capricorn was there, and then, like, Capricorn got a little crush on him, I don't know, I'm like, that is not what's happening here, like, you are my friend, like, that is not what's happening here, so it's literally all these different, like, dudes, and it's so freaking weird to me, you guys, because I've been alone for so long, it's like, you almost forget that when you do put yourself out there, you get a lot of offers, and because things do happen so quickly for us that way, it can be a little bit overwhelming to get out of hermit mode. So I'm definitely like encouraging you guys, get out of her hermit mode. You're the star. You're supposed to be shining. Um, you're also, your vibration's high. So when you're out and about and you're doing things, you're, vibra you're vibrating very high. If you're attracting people with a low vibration... The thing about people who vibrate high is we can meet people on lower levels, but people on lower levels can't meet, meet us. So definitely don't surround yourself with anything that's draining or anything like that because that's when the vibration lowers for you and that's when your magic stops working. So just wanted to do like a quick rant. I had a bunch of shit happen to me this last week. What else did I do? Oh, so that guy at work, uh, I brought him food the other day. And I left it on his desk because he was kind of being like a brat. And um, he's like, well, what do you got in your lunch, Megan? Because I'm the only one that brings like healthy stuff to lunch. So he'll usually like, I'll be like, oh, avocados and whatever. And he'll like pick off of my stuff because he eats like really organic, which I love that. So I brought him food the other day and I was talking to Scorpio, Sag Cusp, the one who wants to marry me. He's like, he's like, so I was talking to Aries and I was like, oh, okay. And he goes, and I saw that you left lunch for him the other day. And Aquarius, you guys have to be about quality, not quantity. Okay. And he said, that was really nice of you, you know, and Aries had come over to me after I dropped him off lunch and he was just like beaming, you guys, he was just beaming. And he's like, this was your doing. This was, you did this. And I was like, oh, of course, darling, like whatever. Don't worry about it. You're being such a brat the other day about food. So I brought you some. And he was like super stoked. Well, I guess Scorpio had saw had saw it. And he's like, yeah, so I saw Aries and I went over to him and I just went like, you are a lucky dude. Like you are a lucky guy. Like we're dating or something, which we're not. But <laughs> and he goes and he was just grinning ear to ear, Megan. Like he goes, there's something with him. There's something. And it's so weird to me, too, because when I connect with people, this is true for all Aquarius. When we finally connect with people other people see the magic. They like, this is not normal. This is not a normal connection. Aquariuses do amplify energy. So if there's like an attraction intellectually there, it's like freaking fireworks and other people see it too. So definitely keep your energy open. You guys, as long as it's positive, anybody who vibrates low, I'm going to say Aquarius needs to learn this too. It is about quality, not quantity. Um, this is how I think like Scorpios and Aquariuses get along a lot better later in life because we become very choosy. Okay. <laughs> we become very picky. So, um, just make sure it's people with that match your vibration. Um, if they don't move the fuck away as quick as you can, because there's, there's some people like I was hanging out with, um, oh gosh, I've done so many things in the last few weeks, you guys. We, when we went out to dinner, there's this like Virgo girl that like I've tried to engage with a couple times and I just don't like her vibe. And like, if you guys get an inkling or a hunch, just move away from it. Like I won't even try with her now, which is kind of annoying to her because I was the freaking life of the party and she, she then wanted to be a part of it. And I was kind of like, uh, no, like <laughs> I've tried with you. Like I'll try once. I'll try maybe twice. If we don't click, like if it doesn't click, you guys just move away. So, uh, she kind of knows now like where I stand with her, but <laughs> anyway, happy Sunday, you guys move with your energy, get out of hermit mode. Thank you, thank you for likes, comments, shares, subscribes, anything like that. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all the emails. There are tons of fun to read. Email me at wmegan, M E G A N, 939 at gmail.com. Um, and yeah, I'll be getting back to those like comments and things like that. But thank you, thank you, everybody. Much love. Um, and we'll talk soon. Bye.